So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good wherever you guys are. So guys, Edgar Belanga uh, beat Jason Quigley. Um, and, you know, Belanga dropped a Quigley four times. I don't know what you guys made of his performance, but Belanga... Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know with Belanga. I think Belanga's a, a, a Belanga's a decent fighter. I mean, I'm not sure he's a top level guy. Like I think he gets beat by all the top guys. Um, I think he. I think he, what I like about Belanga is Belanga. He believes in himself. He has a, a very high self belief. He he kind of reminds me a little bit of Lopez, Tiafimo Lopez, but I just don't think he has the skill and talent of Lopez. Um. I think now, obviously, most people were expecting him to beat Quig Quigley. I thought Quigley would give him a tough test, actually. Um, and he did, to be honest. I know he dropped him a couple of times, but uh, Quigley did give did test him. I think Belanga was the deserved winner for sure. But the fight was a lot closer than what the judges had it. And really, when I look at Belanga, Belanga should be getting guys like Quigley out of there. You know, if I'm not mistaken, Demetrius Andrade, I mean, he made... Was it Quigley? I think he made quite light work of Quigley, to be honest with you. So I would expect, I would expect Belanga, not obviously Andrade's a lot more experienced. Uh, nonetheless, uh, you know, a young, hot prospect should be beating a guy Quigley in comfortable fashion. And dropping him four times, I mean, going the decision with him, uh, I think you should be stopping him, really. If he, if we, if he's going to go like, if you put Belanga, I mean, if you put Quigley in there and any of the, against any of the top guys, Canelo, um, you know, Andrade, Benavidez, Plan. I don't think he goes the distance. Um, I, look, I'm not convinced with Belanga, and I've I've never been convinced. Um, he might be that guy. Uh, he might not be that guy. Um, I'm interested now to see what's next for him. Um, I think the next fight is going to have to be somebody that is is challenging and somebody that, you know, it's a 50-50 kind of fight. And I think they've, I think Eddie Hearn and Belanga want Munguia next. I think that's the right fight for both guys, to be honest with you. I think Munguia's career is kind of going nowhere in terms of he's not fought. Uh, he's not, he's not really fought anybody really, if you look at it. I mean, I know his last fight against Dervianchenko, a lot of people thought Munguia was even lucky to get through that one. Um, that Many felt that Dervianchenko nicked that fight. So, Mungui, I saw him against Gabe Rosado as well. He, he hasn't looked that impressive to me. I'm going to be brutally honest with you. I, I haven't been impressed with Mungui, um, And I haven't been that impressed with Belanga. Uh, so, that's why I think it's the perfect fight. I think that the winner then can go on to some bigger, meaningful fights. And the loser will have to rebuild. Personally, I think if that fight was to happen, I'd probably favour Jaime Mungui. Although, Belanga might be a bigger guy. I, I would favor Munguia because I think Munguia is I think Munguia is the is the I think Munguia might be the better out of the two, but um, Belanga is the bigger guy, but Munguia might be the better fighter uh, in my opinion from what I've seen so far. Probably because he's a little bit more tested at a bit higher level. Yeah, he's been in there with a lot with a, a few more proven guys: Rosado, Dervianchenko. Um, he's been in the, that guy Montiel, uh, the guy that Charlo fought. Was it Montiel? So he's he's in my opinion, this is my opinion. I think I think Mangui has been tested a bit more than Belanga. I don't think Belanga's been tested like that. So personally, I I would personally favor. I would personally favor Mangui to beat um, Belanga. But like I said, I think that would be a very good fight. I think it would be a I think it would be a very very good fight and a good watch. Um, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know what you guys think. I don't know what what, what you guys make of that fight. Uh, interesting. That fight's going to be very interesting. Uh, uh, you know, I think in terms of the fight itself, but I think it's going to be very difficult to make uh, because uh, Eddie Hearn and Oscar De La Hoya clearly aren't on, on good terms. Uh, they're definitely not on good terms. I mean, these guys have been going at each other on Twitter for a long period and long time now. So I don't know how easy that fight is going to be going to be to make. Uh, and, I, and I'd like to think both Eddie Hearn and Oscar, I know Eddie doesn't, I, but I'm pretty sure Oscar's not that type. I think Oscar, if he feels that there's a right fight to make, he'll make it. And really, if you look at it, Eddie Hearn and uh, Golden Boy are with DAZN. So it should be a very comfortable fight. The fight makes a lot of sense. I don't think Eddie will, you know, Eddie doesn't take things personally, things that are being said on Twitter and stuff. So I know Eddie would be w welcoming of the fight. I'm not so sure Oscar would be that welcoming. But again, I think if Oscar wants the best for Munguia, 
I think that's the best fight. And actually, I think it's a fight that I would favor Munguia in. So I think Oscar should be very confident as well. Um, I think it's a big money fight. I think it's a big fight for uh, both of them have uh, quite big fan bases. You know, um, uh, Belanga has a Puerto Rican fan base and Munguia is a Mexican. So you have that Mexican-Puerto Rican rivalry. I think I think it makes a lot of sense. I think it makes a lot of sense. And I think it's the right fight for both of them at the right time. I think both of them, you would say that if they were to fight the top, real top guys, they get beat. But both of them are just below that mid top tier level. And it, that's why it makes sense for both of them to fight each other. Now, the winner of that fight then can go and fight those top tier guys. Um, I think it would make very interesting viewing because both of them like to have a scrap. Both of them like to fight. Quigley was fighting in a way where... Uh, he was fighting on the back foot, making it awkward. Uh, we know that Munguia ain't going to do that. Munguia is going to meet uh, Belanga head on. And that's going to make that fight very interesting. So um, I think that that fight stylistically will clash well. Uh, I think it's the right time for both guys to fight now. Um, and it makes sense. And the winner can go on to bigger, better things. Um, so yeah, I want to see that fight. I, I mean, I'm interested in Munguia. I mean, I saw Belanga call him out. So yeah, I think that's the right fight. I don't think Belanga, Canelo, I think there was a little smoke screen. I mean, there was no way that that fight made any sense. I mean, Canelo would, would, would beat Belanga badly. Um, I don't think that's, that's a, that's not a top tier fight. You know, Belanga has got to prove himself massively before and, and Munguia would be the step in the right direction to prove that. Um, I don't, I don't know whether this fight does as much for Munguia because I, 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 you could probably say that Munguia has fought better guys. Like you could make a case for Dervianchenko being better than Belanga. Um, so you know you can make an argument that Munguia's already fought at a little higher level uh, than even you know he's fought fighters and beat fighters better than um, Belanga. But again, I think it just the, the money involved. Uh, I think. And the fight, the fact that it'd be a pretty big fight, I think it makes sense uh, for Munguia as well. So, yeah, hopefully those fights can happen. I think the interesting thing will be is how that fight's going to be made in terms of Eddie Earn and Oscar. Because they they don't seem to be on good terms at this point. So that could be a bit of a stumbling block. Um, but I, I would really like to see that fight because I think it's a good watch. I think it would be a great watch. Um, and I think both guys would give us a great fight. So I think that's the most important thing. The most important thing is, is guys... Going in there and giving us a great fight. And who knows, maybe they could do... And, and this is this has gone out of the game a little bit. If it's a great fight, maybe they could do a rematch. Maybe they could do a trilogy. I mean, you know, we Otoro, Gatti, Mickey Ward. I mean, uh, you know, why can't, why can't, you know, these two do, do the same? I mean, they're, they're similar type of fighters, you know, in terms of their, their come forward. They like to have a scrap, you know, and maybe they might... You know, sometimes when you put two guys at the similar level, it might not have to be the top tier level. It might not have to be right at the top of the sport. But sometimes these type of guys give us unbelievable fights because they're at a similar level, similar fighting level ability, and they can give us great fights. You know, it doesn't always have to be the elite top guys. Yeah, we look forward to those fights because we want to see the best fight the best. But sometimes these mid-tier guys can, can fight each other and give us great fights and fights that we want to see again. So, you know, uh, I think that's gone a little bit out of the game, to be honest with you. I think it's gone a little bit out of the game. I think why why can't guys that might not be the right that might not be the very best in the division fight each other, give us great fight, and then we want to see it again. You know, boxing's about entertainment. And if two guys, yeah, even though they might not be the best in the division, if they fight each other and they give us an entertaining scrap, why can't we see it again? So, you know, that that's what that's why sometimes you get the top level fights, they'll fight each other and it'll be crap. And you don't want to see that again. And it might be a fight that you've been wanting to see for ages and got so much anticipation, such a big fight. But actually, when they fight, it's terrible. Rubbish. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I want to see I, I want to see this fight because I think it makes I think it makes a lot of sense. I think it makes financial sense. I think where they both are in their careers right now, it makes sense. So get it on. Get it on. What are we waiting for? You know, these these two guys, young guys, you know, they you know, they this is the perfect time for them. Now to step up and fight each other. Um, and like I said, for Munguia, it's not really a step up in my opinion. I would say Munguia fighting Dervianchenko was a tougher fight than Malanga. I think this would be a step up for Belanga for sure. I think this is a step up for Belanga. So uh, I definitely think it's going to be a tough fight for Belanga. Uh, and I would favour Munguia in the fight. I would. I would favour Munguia in the fight. I think he's the better fighter. But you know, you guys might have a different opinion.
But leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Love to know your opinions, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.